Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to the Operation Freedom platform. I'm honored to have back with me uh, my very dear friend and one of the very top naturopathic physicians in our world, Dr. Peter Glidden. Uh, th this is close to now 60, 60, 60 episodes that Peter and I have done that have focused on empowering you, not the big pharmaceutical companies. In fact, they hate these. Uh, the insurance industry, they hate these. Big medicine, the AMA, they hate these. Why? Because we don't empower them. We empower you by giving you information that you can immediately apply to make yourself healthier and enhance every aspect of your wellness and of your future. Now, many of these presentations are based on the feedback I get of issues that are concerning you, our listening audience. The past month, and in particular the past week and a half, I've been inundated with emails about from you, our listeners, about feeling worn out, lacking energy, and just being just, um, just your batteries completely discharged. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about recharging your battery from a nutritional standpoint. The healthiest way to do so and I can't think of a better person to speak with us about that than Dr. Peter Glennon. Now, I, you know Peter's background. We've gone through this 50-some times already for you, almost 60 times. But there's an important point I, I want to drill home in that we provide information in these videos. All the videos are on our website, operationfreedomhealth.com. They're there for your viewing. There are other videos there that are free. The products we discuss today and every week that we do this are there at operationfreedomhealth.com. Full disclosure, purchase of the products there, do support this platform. Now, for your reading enhancement foundation, Peter is the author of two fantastic books. They are the foundation of my medical library in my home. I encourage it to, for you to have the same because they truly, truly are great foundational books for your reading, your understanding, and your health and wellness. The two books which can be purchased on Amazon is Everybody is Sick and I Know Why and Attempt a Cure with Holistic Medicine, both by my guest, Dr. Peter Glinner. Peter, welcome back to the Operation Freedom Platform. Always a pleasure, Dave. Interesting times that we live in. Yeah, a little too interesting. <laughs> I concur. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so here we go. <laughs> Folks are saying they're worn out. They, they have no energy. This is exact. This is sap them of any any ambition, any just getting through the day. All right, Peter. What what do they do to nutritionally recharge? Not through big pharmaceutical products and all that garbage, but the the what do they do nutritionally for their health and wellness at this point? Well, if you were a German soldier in in World War II, no. you would take a box of uh, methamphetamines, mm -hmm. which the German pharmaceutical companies manufactured in millions of unit doses. And I just learned this a little while ago that I did not know this. I think I was out of this loop for some reason, but they were all of the German soldiers, the, the, the infantry, everybody was out of their minds on meth. They were provided it to them on a regular basis by the government and that's how they handled their stress didn't work out so well for them right right it's a much better way to do it but it's a point well taken that when the human body is under stress you don't just expect to deal with it without a little help you don't go outside in sub-zero weather in your bathing suit right you need to put winter clothes on and you can handle the stress well it's the same here and it's a tremendous amount of stress that people on our side of the political aisle have been experiencing over the last few months. It's a tremendous, I can't remember a time in, in my short life of what, 62 years now that I've ever been this stressed out about something on a, a daily basis, mm -hmm. almost an hourly basis, right? Mm -hmm. It's nuts, it's crazy what's happening here. So we have to bring in the cavalry here. We have to give the body support. We have to deal with it. But we have to do it appropriately. So, you know, if you're driving the car and you have a trouble with the, the engine knocking, 
It's making a funny noise and the engine's stuttering when you step on the gas. Well, what you're not going to do is put air in the tires because that's the wrong thing to do, right? It's just it's the wrong thing to do. The tire, the car has tires, but that's not where the problem lies. You have to address, in, in this instance, where the physiological center of gravity of the problem is when you're super stressed out about psychological things like we have been for the last three months. The answer to that question is one word, hypothalamus. Mm -hmm. The hypothalamus is a little walnut-shaped organ in the middle of the brain, more or less dead center in the brain. And it is the, uh, <clears throat> the captain of the hormonal system in the body, of the endocrine system in the body. Mm -hmm. And the endocrine system in the body is uh, responsible for the uh, secretion of different hormones that help the body to do different things. And hormones, if I was an evil genius mm -hmm. and I wanted to hurt humanity, one thing that I would do is put something in the water to mess with people's hormones. Because mm -hmm. when you mess with somebody's hormones, it's a global effect. It's not just the pinky finger that's affected. It's not just the liver that's affected. It's not just the left kidney that's affected. It's everything is affected by hormones 24-7. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hormone regulation, maintenance is a really big deal here in the human body. And the hypothalamus, the little thing that sits in the middle of the brain, is the, uh, it's the main switchboard of the endocrine system. Most of the body's critical hormones, which promote growth, metabolism, normal function, are prompted by chemical signals from the hypothalamus that run everything in the body, especially the stress response. Mm -hmm. So good herbs, thank God for good herbs. Let me just say this. I agree. Thank God for good herbs. That company is so good. Their stuff is so well-researched, so the, the way that they process their stuff, mm -hmm. it's just really top of the line. They don't cut corners to save a buck. Really, really good. Really, really great. They have a product, one of my favorites. Guess what it's called? Hypothalamus support. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of a deep dive into the hypothalamus support here because it's interesting. Go for because it. Because what a lot of people kind of miss in our presentations is the simple notion that naturopathic medicine exists in order to marry the scientific technique with natural therapeutics. Mm -hmm. So the intention here is to prove that what we say works because it either works or it doesn't work. And if it works, you should be able to prove it. Mm -hmm. Hence the phrase science-based clinically verified. Mm -hmm. And there's been so much research, interestingly, especially in Germany <clears throat> and Russia, on the effects of botanical medicines mm -hmm. on different aspects of the human being. That whenever somebody says to me, oh, the, those naturopathic therapeutics, they may be good, but they haven't been researched. Where's the research? Where's the proof? Well, it's everywhere. Right. There are thousands of published articles regarding all of this stuff, and that's an important thing. So the hypothalamus support has these herbs in them. Ashwagandha, bilberry, eleutherococcus, rhodiola, and schisandra berry. Hmm. And let me just read you a little excerpt about some of these, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. From 1960 to the present, over 180 studies including numerous impressive clinical trials, have been published demonstrating rhodiola's ability to resistance to both physical and emotional stress. Rhodiola extract was used at a low dose and was shown to improve the physical and mental performance of medical doctors working night shifts. Rhodiola formed part of the famously researched Russian herbal formula ADAPT, which also contained two of the other herbs that are in this formula, uh, Shisandra and Eleuther Eleutherococcus. And this was researched by a, a man named Viktor Baranov. He was a medical doctor. He and his team were researching the relationship of the effect of supporting the nervous system and improving performance, get this, with athletes and cosmonauts. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Three of the herbs 
that these guys researched and then recommended the cosmonauts use, right, are in this hypothalamus formula. <laughs> and the way that the good herbs uh, people extract the herbs from, you know, the earth, the way that they process them, how they manufacture them, how they bottle them, the mm -hmm. whole thing is the top of the line, which dramatically increases these medicines' ability to work on the human body. Mm -hmm. And one thing that most herbal companies do, which is a bad idea, I know where it started, I know who started it, I know why they started it, I'm not gonna get into that, it was just a bad idea then, it's a bad idea now. Mm -hmm. Researchers will look at a particular plant, let's say rhodiola, and they'll do a chemical analysis and they'll see 500 different biochemicals in rhodiola, right? I just made that number up. It's probably more. Mm -hmm. And then they will cherry pick some of those biochemicals based upon preconceived notions that they have for whatever reason that those particular chemical constituents were the main chemical constituents of the plant. And then they will extract those from the plant, figure out a way to mimic those in the laboratory, mimic those in the laboratory, and or concentrate them from, you know, a thousand different rhodiola plants, and then inject them into the formula that they sell to the public. And 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 this is virtually every nutritional supplement company that sells botanical medicines in the world does this, but Good Herbs does not do this. Because Good Herbs and myself and Dr. Dave Janda are of the opinion that nature is smarter than science. It's oh, smarter than very, man. Very true. Right? Mm -hmm. Very true. So rather than try to second guess Mother Nature and concentrate certain herbal constituents, mm -hmm. biochemical constituents, which is called standardization. And you'll see in the back of the label, you know, rhodiola, standardized to contain X amount of rhodiolin or whatever. Good herbs doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. They give the whole package, right? the way that Mother Nature created the whole package. Mm -hmm. And when you give the whole package, you get a much better response, much less side effects, mm -hmm. much less trouble, more of a well-rounded experience, and it's just better overall mm -hmm. so in the same way that you would put you know long underwear and socks and a snowsuit and hats and glove and boot and a scarf on if you go out in sub-zero weather when you're dealing with life in early 2021 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i mean turn on just turn on the tv and listen to the lamestream news for five minutes, mm. you're all stressed out. Mm -hmm. And then sure. you continue to be stressed out until you go to sleep, and then maybe your dreams will be stressed out, and then you wake up the next morning and you're still stressed out. This is unprecedented, quite mm -hmm. frankly, mm -hmm. for those of us who are awake, right? Right. For those of us who have the fingers on the pulse of what's really going on here. So good herbs hypothalamus support to the rescue good herbs hypothalamus support to the rescue good herbs hypothalamus support to the rescue now recommendation if you're an adult four milliliters at least twice a day okay. why don't you try four milliliters three times a day again nobody knows what the exact dose is we have to kind of start somewhere and then go up and then go down to see what your goldilocks zone is because everybody's going to be a little different but four mls twice a day is a good place to start and this is one of the the few <laughs> good herbs products that I actually don't mind the taste of straight out of the bottle. But if you do mind the taste of it, because remember, one man's ceiling is another woman's floor, right? Right. <laughs> Mix it with a little juice. Yeah. Mix it with a little water. There's no problem, no harm, no foul there. And just get this stuff into your body twice a day. Now, yeah. Now, the quickest way to absorb it, tell me if I'm wrong, Pete is if you take the dropper, right, and you actually squirt it underneath your tongue, hold it there for a bit, and then swallow, yes? 100%. Yeah. Because there is a mechanism inside the oral mucosa, and it's underneath the trunk, the tongue, where uh, you can have direct delivery and absorption into the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. Bypasses the digestive tract. Mm -hmm. That's a really good thing to do 
with the good herbs. And, and, and that's, this is another, I'm glad that you mentioned that because one of the reasons for the effectiveness of the good herbs mm -hmm. is the type of alcohol that they use right. in the preparation process. It's, it's top shelf, 200 proof alcohol, which number one is very expensive, which number two, most uh, no. botanical medicine companies I don't use because, well, it's too expensive, right? Mm -hmm. But it's the presence of this high grade alcohol inside the uh, botanical medicine biochemical mix mm -hmm. that facilitates its delivery. So it's a win-win. You mm -hmm. use this type of alcohol, you extract more of the chemical constituents that, from the herb, and then it delivers those to the, to the body much more efficiently. So brilliance from start to finish in the manufacture of the good herbs. Yeah, so one milliliter, right? Let it absorb for 10, 20, 30 seconds, swallow it down, another milliliter, do that four times, twice a day, you're good to go. Other suggestions in addition to the hypothalamus support? Well, so, you know, we, we talk about it all the time. I almost don't want to get, I get, you know, really, are we going to talk about this again? But I guess we're going to talk about it again. <laughs> right. Right. You need to fill the tank up. Yep, absolutely. You, you need to give your body the foundation pack every day. Mm -hmm. And whenever you're more stressed because of physical exertion or emotional stress, mm -hmm. more minerals, mm -hmm. more minerals. And I think that's a worthwhile experiment that everybody should do regardless of whether you're stressed out or not. And everybody's stressed out now. So now's a good time to do it. Do a little experiment. For one week, take one ounce of minerals a day. See how you feel. Next week, take two ounces of minerals a day. See how you feel. Next week, three ounces of minerals a day. See how you feel. And the next week, four ounces of minerals. You might be surprised, or you could do it in reverse order. Start with four, then go to three, then go to two, then go to one. But that's the only way that you're going to know whether or not you're on the Goldilocks zone. Mm -hmm. And minerals, let's not forget the obvious, minerals represent 66%, two-thirds of your body's nutrient needs are minerals, not vitamins, not amino acids, minerals. So don't be afraid to give your body more minerals, see how you do, and you don't need to worry about overdosing, I think. With the, the uh, plant-derived minerals product, you'd need to swallow, I think, 85 bottles in a row <laughs> in order to produce a toxic effect on the body. And, you know, that's – so you don't need to worry about that at all. Just take more minerals, see how you feel. Now, the last thing to do – and I'm only bringing this up because, let's be honest, it's not normal time. It's super stress 24-7 time. Oh, my God. What's going to happen? What's General Flynn going to do? What's Trump going to do? What's Biden going to do? What's Kamala Harris going to do? What's crazy Nancy Pelosi going to do? Oh, my God, right? It's 24-7. Mm -hmm. It's nuts. Mm -hmm. This is not normal time. True. So one more thing to do. Why not? This is like putting the hat on when you go outside in freezing cold weather. Now, and now this supplement will produce an almost immediate effect. You know, the other stuff sometimes takes a couple of hours or a couple of days before you kind of notice it and you have to be mindful of it to notice it because it sneaks up on you. You know, you don't feel your hair growing, but your hair grows, not this. <laughs> the good herbs nerve support will calm you right down. And it will calm you right down in a good way not in a sedative, I feel like I'm out of it, I feel like I'm doped up way. Mm -hmm. It just takes the edge off. And it takes the edge off nicely without side effects. If, you, if you're one of these people, you know, I'm making numbers up, maybe 25% of your listeners who are super stressed out by all this, mm -hmm. I don't just mean stressed, I mean super stressed out. Mm -hmm. You take the Good Herbs Nerve Support, again, four mLs twice a day, and I would alternate that with the hypothalamus support. So I do hypothalamus nerve support, hypothalamus nerve support. That's going to take the edge off very nicely. 
It's going to make it, it's like pour, pouring oil on the water, right? Mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. Things are going to calm down and it's going to be easier for you. Mm -hmm. um, and like the fella said, you, you don't, you don't know what you're missing, right? So give it a try, see if it works for you. If it does work for you, then there's no harm and no foul for maintaining that for a couple of months. One of the questions people have, uh, Peter, is they say, okay, so I'm taking a couple of these different uh, supplements. I'm taking the hypothalamus support in this case and the nerve support. So I give myself a couple droppers under my tongue, swallow them of the hypothalamus support. How long do I have to wait before I, because I'm kind of, I got to get to the office or I got to get somewhere, but I want to get it in. So can I give a couple doses of the hypothalamus support, swallow it, let it work for a minute or two, and then give myself some of the nerves? Is that is that legit or is that, nah, that's not a good thing. You're going to cancel. You're going to cause No, there's no harm, in, no harm and no foul in doing that. And if your lifestyle permits or demands that, like, you know, it's a pain in the neck to carry all these bottles to work and then yeah. to remember to do it. And you don't want people to see you taking the droppers <laughs> behind your desk. What the hell are you doing? Right. Yeah. You can mix them all together. Oh, you can't, you can mix them at the same time. Yeah. But you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do like <laughs> 24 milliliters all at once. <laughs> no, not a good right? idea. Not you a want good to idea. do four mLs of the, uh, of the hypothalamus mixed with four mLs of the nerve support. Okay. Yeah. And shoot those down like a shot of whiskey. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Again, common sense, right. right? Right. That if you if you extend things out, you're going to get kind of a a more leveled experience, mm -hmm. right? Which is kind of what we're after. So yeah, in a right. perfect world, you'd alternate them every three hours while you're awake, mm -hmm. more or less. But if you know. If, if your lifestyle dictates otherwise, you can mix them together twice a day. And you mentioned earlier about filling the tank, and you spoke about the minerals, the plant-derived minerals, but also a part of that to fill in the tank is the foundation pack. Yeah, that's the main part. So that's right. why it's called the foundation pack. Right, right. Nobody gets away from the foundation pack. you got to do the foundation pack every day, plus eliminate the 12 bad foods. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen... If you've been doing everything we've been telling you, but you're on the fast with the diet, you're not going to get the results that you could get. The diet is a big, bad voodoo daddy. It's a big thing. So pay attention to the 12 bad foods. Please eliminate the 12 bad foods yesterday mm -hmm. moving forward. And that's going to – I would guess that if you did nothing, nothing – except eliminate the 12 bad foods starting today for the rest of your life, you would add five years to your lifespan. And that video, at, at least in that video, 12 bad foods is free and it's on yep. the website or website, operationfreedomhealth.com toward the top. Free beats a poke in the eye yeah, with got, a sharp stick. You, you got that right. <laughs> Peter, I'd like to thank you for everything you have done, are doing and will do. Thank you for imparting your expertise and your knowledge base so that every one of our listeners can truly enhance their health and their wellness. Now, again, everybody is sick and I know why. And attempt a cure with holistic medicine, both available on Amazon by Dr. Peter Glidden. He also has a website, riseupintohealth.com. Educate our listeners on that site, Peter. Take a deep dive into self-help health recovery with my online content, which has been uh, formulated from 32 years of clinical experience now. Uh, easy breezy, lemon squeezy, riseuptohealth.com. Become a subscriber and start clawing your way back into the wonderful world of health. Again, thank you so much, Peter, for your time and your expertise. And thank you for everything you are doing, have done, and will do. Folks, thank you for joining us today. Until next time, Dave Janis signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.